Atlantic by Brian Karras. Atlantic. I am the Atlantic Ocean. I begin where the land runs out at the end of yards and streets and hills. I am the blue water at the beach, the waves, mist and storms. That salty smell is me too. I stretch from the icy poles north and south. I rub shoulders with North America and bump into Africa. I slosh around South America and crash into Europe. But I don't end there. The Pacific and Indian, Arctic and Antarctic are my relatives. We are one big family. My water doesn't stay in just one place. It travels from continent to continent. So that iceberg floating past someone's window one day will sometime find itself laughing at your toes on a warm sandy beach. My fingers stretch out, bays and inlets reach far into the land. Gulfs, seas, sounds and channels lead to me and into me. They are me. I am here day and night, heaving, raging, laying still, scraping away at some land and putting it someplace else. Bit by bit, my shape changes as it has for ages, sometimes growing, sometimes shrinking, never staying still. The sun, so many millions of miles away, heats my water, which turns into clouds and storms that rain into me and it starts all over again. The moon, so far out in space, pulls at me and then lets go. So my tides go in and out, ebb and flood. First I was discovered, even though I was here first and then conquered by men in big ships who named me. I've been crossed and probed, charted, studied, dirtied. Fishermen know me, they know my oyster beds and seek out my schools of fish with hooks and nets, long lines and traps. Artists paint pictures of me with Krulian, Cobalt, and Aquamarine. And poets know me with their beautiful words. The dancing shadow of your airplane skips over wave over wave with dolphins who sing and race with skates and whales and fish that fly. Seagulls sing to me, sand and pebbles rattle and clatter a chorus as I rush in and pull away. My words crash and whisper in your ear. Don't forget, I am here. I am the Atlantic Ocean.